Hey, what's up, guys? This is Trey G, the journalist without a beat, and standing right next to me is the shaman of Sex Z and current Lucha Underground champion, you like that? Johnny Mundo. I just rhymed it right there. I liked it. I liked it. The mayor of Slam Town, the, Mex the executioner, also the, uh, the heavyweight world champion of AAA, champion of five-star wrestling, champion of QPW, and um, the man who's always famous in his own house at dinner time, Johnny Mundo. All right. Those are a lot of championships. Oh, yeah. And speaking of championships in Lucha Underground, you have conquered all of them. So yeah. what's next for Johnny Mundo? I feel like after, you, after you've climbed to the top of the mountain and had time to drink a soda, the uh, thing that starts to come to mind for me next is legacy. I was on episode one of Lucha Underground in the main event with Prince Puma. And the more that we can create and the higher we can elevate the brand of Lucha Underground and the show as a whole, the, uh, the more I feel like that's the type of thing that I would be interested in. Making Lucha Underground legitimate competition with all the top wrestling organizations in the world, which I feel in terms of production, we are right now. The uh, fastest paced, most polished, hard hitting show um, in the world of wrestling. But we do, not, what we need to do now is compete for those eyeballs. Okay, nice. And um, speaking of Lucha Underground and the temple, what was your like? Um, I guess your first thoughts when you entered the temple was it was it like a big like a bit different from the traditional arenas when you stepped in? Yeah, big time. Yeah. When I well, so uh, Chris De Joseph hit me up about a wrestling promotion he was starting, mm -hmm. and I was always a little skeptical when you hear about a new wrestling promotion, but when he invited me down to the temple, and um, it was in a in a crappy warehouse that had actually shot a movie in. Four years prior with Danny Trejo, we were these underground mole people in subways. Right. I was his muscle. So I, I, I pulled up to this place, and I was like, oh, this place. I remember. <laughs> with the rat poop on the, on the floor and, like, the, the crappy carpet. Doesn't look and, like that on TV, though. <laughs> well, I, I walked in, and they completely redid it. Oh, okay. They, uh, I mean, you can only make that place so clean. It is, <laughs> it is a dirty little warehouse. But the, the set design was amazing. Okay. They had the bleachers set up there. They had an amazing ring, um, Dario's office. And um, I had a real sense of, like, this is something special when I walked into it. Also, I had a sense of, this is 10 minutes from my house, and it would be cool to work here <laughs> when I walked in. Nice. And also, um, if fans do not know, you have a new movie coming out, and the premiere is tonight. Can you tell us a little bit more about Boone the Bounty Hunter? Absolutely. Yeah. Boone the Bounty Hunter, uh, you nailed it. It premieres tonight at Showplace Icon Theater in Chicago, a few miles from here at 8 p.m., Boone the Bounty Hunter is about a reality show bounty hunter who uses a combo of parkour, pro wrestling, and 80s style action movies to boon delinquent celebrities like Kevin Sorbo. This movie I personally wrote, produced, did a lot of the action design for, and starred in. Um, I'm extremely proud of the way it's come out. Uh, people that have seen it have, have really loved it. There's one person that said it was the best movie, hands down, she's ever seen. Nice. That was my mom. <laughs> But uh, I'm really excited for, uh, for people to see it. If, if you think the stuff that I've done in Lucha Underground in the wrestling ring is crazy, wait till you see what I do in Boone the Bounty Hunter. Nice. Final question. Um, hardest match so far you had in Lucha Underground? Ooh, um, the, the hardest match I'd say would be the Iron Man match against Puma in season one. Um, first of all, like, look at that dude. He, he does not get tired. He can go. He's like the Energizer. I would say bunny, but like that energizer rhinoceros or the, the energizer Bengal tiger. Um, yeah, the dude's, a, the dude's a machine. And um, having that match with him felt good to me because uh, it, it really upped my confidence as far as like my ability to go and leave it all out there still. And um, it's, it's one of the matches that I'm most proud of in my career. When we come back, the first episode of season three when we were back from hiatus, is me versus Willie Mack in an Iron Man match. And um, that one rivals the match that I had with Puma. And I've been waiting for this match since we taped it. And I, I can't wait to see it when we're back. And we're back on the LA Network, nice. May 31st. May 31st, guys. All right. That's Trey G, the journalist out of beat. And this is Johnny Mundo. And we're out. <laughs>